Hi everyone, my name is Chris Bisignano. I'm the physiotherapist at Concourse Physiotherapy here in the building. I'm gonna to talk today about ergonomics. Whether you're working at home or in the office, it's for those that sit for a living. One of the keys to avoiding injury is of course, trying to take advantage of anatomical neutral positions, they're called. These positions cause the least amount of stress on musculoskeletal tissue, and they're most efficient for our joints. An example would be sitting properly, feet flat on the floor, knees, hips, straight lower back, onto your keyboard or mouse tray, and you're in relative 90, 90, 90, looking straight. Now the keyboard and mouse, and how it affects your hand, wrist, elbow, even into the shoulder and neck. Most often when you're using devices like these, it's cumulative. It's not one incident that actually causes the pain and it may go unnoticed for a long period of time. If these devices are not positioned according to your biomechanics on your neutral position in the chair, it will become painful over time and potentially have some nerve damage. Everyone's heard of carpal tunnel syndrome, but the most prevalent injury now in computer use is actually what's called lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. Something that can easily develop over time from being loaded at your mouse, okay? Keeping your hand in this position as you rest your wrist is not what you wanna do. The mouse was designed over the palmer position of the hand, relaxing the hand, moving the wrist, moving the arm. Same with the keyboard. If your keyboard legs are up, put them down. We want a more neutral position relative to your seated posture. Your elbow height should be just above your desk surface height is a good place to start when you're seated in that neutral position we spoke of earlier. Using an ergonomic mouse nowadays puts your hand in a more vertical position out of this flat rotation into a more neutral position at the wrist. Those positions will help decrease the force adapting mouse functions, reducing awkward postures to help you prevent those injuries and even chronic fatigue over time. So again, whether you're at home or in the office, you can use micro breaks, change of posture to break up your postural static positions throughout the day, especially if you had a computer or laptop on a regular basis. Have you seen workers using a sit-stand unit yet? When you do use one, we tend to start people off just on email, such that you could stand, read email, not have to do a whole lot of input, but still change your posture. The ergonomic micro break is a very simple concept applied really to any task. Every time your phone rings is a good example. Every time you have to reach for another document or piece of equipment, or even setting a timer an app on your computer for any every 10 to 15 minutes to stand, change up, refocus on your task, and then sit to continue work. Most back pain, especially downtown for those of you that sit for a living, happens at the lower back relative to the sacroiliac joints, those dimples just above your belt line. The easiest way to stretch that area is a simple side bend, reaching down purely down the side of your leg. Don't go to the front, don't go to the back. You can repeat, go to the opposite direction. You can even take the arm over top. You may feel a click, you may feel a release. That's okay as long as it's not painful. Thank you very much.